is Gene Allen, and I'm going to show blocking file copies to USB drives using FileSure. In this situation, we have a couple of uh, we have the console here running on the server. You can see I have a couple of managed machines. In this case, uh, Win 7 machine, which is currently a VM that's turned off, and then Windows 2003 x64. This is a 64-bit machine running FileSure 2.5, uh, which is the next version. Anyway, um, we have it here. Here's the remote desktop of that same machine. And I've set up a rule here called deny or block writing to USB drives. So all you can see here is this simple block all files for all users. And these are the checks you want. You don't want them to be able to write to an existing file. You don't want them to be able to create new files if it's on a removable drive. And this rule applies to both workstations and servers. So let's just go ahead and try to copy a file. We have it set here to monitor that machine in real time. So now we'll pick up uh, activity as it happens. I'll you know, it'll be recorded on this local machine here and put in this local data store and then pushed to the server um, every 30 minutes or so. Anyway, we want to watch it in real time. So any file activity that's of interest to us, we'll pick it up. So we're going to go ahead and just copy a file. Uh, just right click on that one and say copy. And we're going to try to put it right here on this Corsair and say, you might want to be able to see it a little bit better here. Say paste. And it says I can't. I don't have the rights to do it. Access is denied. And you can see that FileSure blocked the access. Let's try to get around this by copying it by hand from a DOS prompt. Let's just try copying a.txt to the same pen drive. And access is denied there too. So as you can see, the FileSure is blocking right into USB drives. The data is stored here locally. It will be pushed up here on a regular basis. And when, uh, when he pushed up here, and when he can, um, probably in 20 minutes or so, the forensic reports and alerts will all be picked up and published and everything else. Uh, the alerts actually get published in real time. But the nice reason, the reason why we do this is because if this machine is disconnected from the network, um, it keeps it stored locally and will continue to try to push the data to the server and pull down new rules whenever it can. If it can't, it just continues to work with the current rule set until it can. And that's all there is to it.